Turtle versus tortoise. What's the difference? But first, what do you call a turtle without a shell? I don't know. Dad. What? Do you think it was some joke that was supposed to make you reverse sniff? No. Jurtle just died. But wait, how do you know it's Jurtle and not uh Jurtis? Wait, Jurtois? Uh, whatever. Well, to tell the difference between a turtle and tortoise, you have to look at their shell. But there are exceptions, so I'm gonna put this little asterisk. Okay, wait, let me just say something very important drink water oh yeah and also all tortoises are turtles because they evolved from them but not all turtles are tortoises see it goes one way and not the other so when we say turtles versus tortoises we really mean non-tortoise versus tortoise tortoise okay so here's a tortoise shell and a non-tortoise shell tortoises mainly live on land so their shell can be as big as nature wants kind of like the current viewer's forehead yes if this was a youtube video then the current viewer would have a comically large forehead unless of course they subscribed but a turtle which has to live in the sea has to swim obviously so their shell has to be sleek like aerodynamic but for water water or dynamic because tortoises live on land their feet are also different they have stumpy feet which are great for walking oh so they walk with their feet well not really apparently they walk on their toes you know like elephants. Wow, hilarious joke. You really had me fooled there, bud. No, elephants actually walk on their toes. So, technically, they should be called the Teenage Mutant Ninja Tortoises. And on the other side, water turtles have flippers, which are great for swimming. Now, back to land. Tortoises eat mostly plants and the occasional bugs. So, just like humans. And water turtles eat everything. Plants, fish, plastic. So, again... Just like humans. Okay, so basically, there's the turtle, which has two types. Side neck and hidden neck. These side naked goofballs can't even pull their head in their shelf. <laughs> Meanwhile, some hidden neck guys can literally have a closable door. Bro got an indoor one head garage. But we're still in the water here. In the hidden neck family, we have the mainly water boys and mainly land boys. Called sea turtles and tortoises. Tortoises, the land boys, can swim in water but cannot hold their breath for too long. Oh, and the thing that sets them apart is their shell shape. <laughs> yes, but there are exceptions like the pancake tortoise. Bro is literally thinner than my phone. Okay, but all tortoises have a round shell, and that's what they have in common? Of course not. There's domed versus saddlebacked, which is like normal rounded versus a little notch to reach a little bit higher to eat the delicious plants on top. Okay, but since all sea turtles live in water, they can all breathe in water, right? They would love to, but um... They don't have gills, so they need to poke their head out of the water to breathe. Oh, so all turtles and tortoises need air to breathe. And that's what they have in common. Well, no, there's an exception where sea turtles do cloacal respiration, which is when they breathe through their butt and don't really need to come up for air. Yeah, my cousin does that as well. Okay, but turtles don't live on land, right? Correct. They live, eat, sleep, everything in water. Oh, wait, no, but they do lay eggs on land. Oh, yeah, and there's another exception is the eastern box turtle, which is supposed to be in water because of the name, but likes dry land. But can we at least agree that all turtles and tortoises have shells? Right? Yep, no exceptions there. Except, of course, the leatherback turtle, which doesn't really have a shell. It's like leather, kind of. Ah! And tortoises live for a long time, like 250 years. That's why you might see stories like how a missing family turtle showed up 30 years later. The most interesting thing, though, is that all turtles and tortoises hibernate every year. It's called brumation, and they like to bury themselves underground. But suburban pet turtles, aka Gen Z <laughs> turtles, can't really dig in the hard soil. So owners put them in the fridge or I'm not kidding they bury them underground and dig them up after winter And if they forget to dig them up they grow into turtle trees and that's where baby turtles come from